<laughs> That's fun. Full back. This is the impish wing. It was meant to be a uh, clone of the Hobby King Wicked Wing XL. Um, and for the most part, it's not actually, to be honest. Um, it's about 1.7 meter between the wingtips and an overall length of about 900 millimeters. It's hot wired cut using a PW51 airfoil from hard grade expanded polystyrene EPS. It's got two wing halves and a fuselage. The fuselage is there to um, pretty much just there to hold the uh, the motor. I wanted a slope soarer but also wanted to be able to to fly it on a flat field. There's a main spar here a meter long that's 12 by 2 millimeter in cross-section carbon fiber. There are spars on the trailing edge of the wing goes all the way from the fuselage out to the wing tip. That's also carbon fiber, six point no six times one millimeter in cross section. And the little bar up here is not really necessary. It is an off cut from one of the trailing ones. Uh, it's just there to make sure the glue joint here uh, doesn't give in. It shouldn't, but you never know. Glass fiber reinforced packing tape on all edges here and on the trailing edge. The top is not covered, it is just the uh, polystyrene, whereas the underside is covered in clear packing tape or more reinforced glass fiber tape. Elevons are 3mm balsa uh, covered in clear packing tape. And the control horns are also 3mm balsa but not covered. Uh, they're attached or rather drenched in um, CA glue. The control horns are 1.5mm steel wire or steel rod. The motor is not really attached. It's screwed down to two layers of plywood and then that plywood is just held to the fuselage with a rubber band. These screws go about that far in and I've drenched them in um, glue before I screw them in. That way they're not gonna tear the um, EPS. There's two reasons for this. One I wanted to be able to detach the motor easily for um, slope soaring and the other one is to allow something to give if I land with the propeller like that. If I land it'll just pop up. And that works really well actually. Uh, the only feature uh, is that when you pull power on, the torque twists this a little bit. That's not a big problem. The winglets were cut from uh, core flute, three millimeter core flute, and hot glued onto the wing tips. I will tape it up. Uh, I simply forgot, and it's held so far. So I replaced the uh, Emax motor with the bigger one. This is an E-Flight something or another. It's equivalent to a Park 480. The prop is a um, 12x6 45 amp ESC. Same battery but further forward now. Same amount of ballast, 80 grams, except now both of them are on the on the side. Right, here we go. Into the wind. And power. Keep going. Probably a third power. I don't dare look down right now. Looping. And a stall. Ah, oh, beautiful. <laughs> I 
Motor off. And power on. Not enough power. Hanging there, hanging there. Uh, stalled and recovered beautifully. Do I dare catch it? Ooh! It's pretty solid when it comes. This leading edge tape is good. So there's a bit too much wind for this to be uh, slope soaring with that ballast. And of course I left all my extra steel at home. So a pair of plies will have to do. Smack on the CG. We'll see how we go. Ha ha ha! 